Today, you're gonna learn the top five most common whoop de doo mistakes. <laughs> sit down real quick. Sit, sit, hey, sit. <laughs> Tyler Livesey here with the MX Factory. Today you're gonna learn how to go through the whoops less bad. And if you can give us a little like and sub and you know show us a little love on our Patreon account, that'd be awesome too. This video is not about how to hit whoops, it's how to eliminate mistakes that you may be having. We do have a video, make sure you click the link to check out the mechanics and all the good stuff on how to hit whoops. Let's ride! Mistake number one, you're hitting the whoops in too low of a gear. I see it over and over. Even my guys I work with every week, it's a very uncertain feeling of coming in and shifting the bike up more than you would think. But what you gotta think about is we're trying to gain speed through these whoops. We're trying to gain traction and make sure the bike stays planted. So we want the RPMs to stay in the good part of the power, so we don't want to come in with them already high, right? Because if we're gaining speed with the RPMs already high, and we can't shift our bike because we're controlling the bike, then we're going to eventually flatten out, the bike's going to start to get loose. So make sure that you're going to gear up higher than you even think you should. Try that first, and then if it's too boggy and you can't gain speed, then come down one. For example, in these whoops, which are right out of a turn, I'm going to hit these whoops in fourth gear on a 252 stroke. I don't have much room to get to that gear, so the first few whoops will sound kind of boggy, but then midway through when I'm starting to pick up speed, it'll be in the right part of the power, and I can maintain a straight bike and come out with more speed at the end. Mistake number two. Ah, uh, what is it? <laughs> Loose knees. If you're not squeezing the bike, you're not using your body weight to keep it straight. Most whoops have lines in them. They have ruts in them, they have edges in them. If you're not squeezing the bike, the bike is gonna hit those and go whatever way it's making them go. Okay, so if you're squeezing, you're attaching your body weight to the bike to counter that kick. Okay, so you're making sure that lower body squeezing, keeping the bike straight, not letting the track justify which way your bike's going, your body's doing that for you. A lot of times between the over rev and loose knees, that's where the swap starts to happen. So if that's a common mistake for you, analyze what's going on with your RPMs and your lower body. So remember, one thing when you're going through the whoops, try not to get so hard on yourself. The bike isn't going to go in a perfect line every time. And if you want to challenge yourself or watch a supercross, there's not one pro, these are the best guys in the world that hit the whoops perfectly straight every time. So make sure that you're focusing on the mechanics mostly and then being okay if the bike starts to dance and then kind of evaluating what caused that and it usually goes back to your mechanics. So mistake number three is going to be losing momentum towards the middle and end of the whoops. If you haven't come in with a speed that you're able to pick up speed as you go, it's gonna give a little more uh, chance for the bike to start to react in an odd way. So if you can gain speed on every whoop, that means the tire's getting traction, that means the bike is going straight, that means that you're in flow with the whoops, it usually eliminates the big mistakes that can happen. So make sure that everything that we've talked about as far as being in the right gear and all that is in line to where you can maintain speed or pick up speed towards the end and not let that drop off. When you drop off speed, the bike starts to unload, okay? You're not using the brakes as if you were coming into braking bumps when the bike's planted to the ground. So then the suspension does what it's not supposed to do and starts to bounce around. Mistake number four, managing the swap. You do not want to let off the gas when the bike starts to move side to side. Remember, that wheel spinning is working towards getting the bike back underneath you. As soon as you let off and the bike starts to decel, it exaggerates that swap. Make sure if you're starting to make the mistake that you're able to maintain the throttle to try to get that thing to straighten out. Sometimes it doesn't get it all the way straightened out, but 90% of the time it fixes that mistake. Mistake number five, poor bike setup. When you're going through a whoop section, you want your bike suspension to be as balanced as possible. 
as well as your body working with that. So let's just say for instance that you haven't set your race sag and it's super high in the back and it's putting a lot of weight on the front, chances are you're gonna drive the front end to, into every whoop. Right, so making sure that the little things like your spring rate set up for you, your bike's balanced, your sag is set, your clickers are in the range that you can manage, right? Like these little things really go a long way when you're going into something that's suspension over and over and over and over. Another thing to think about is tire pressure. If you have too much air in your tires and the, and the tire's spinning on every face of a whoop, what's it gonna do? It's gonna slide one way or another. So it's nice to have a, a tire pressure that you're comfortable with and one that's gonna uh, be applicable to the terrain that you're riding on. For example, on this track, I'm running about 12 pounds of pressure. That is like my go-to that I pretty much run across the board. I'll slightly adjust it in some terrain, but 12 pounds is usually a nice pressure for motocross track, motocross wheel setup with no moose tubes. Thanks for sticking around the end. We'll give you a little extra since you're here. Make sure your eyesight is in the right part of the track, okay? Make sure you're looking far enough ahead that you can process what you've got to do. The biggest mistake that I see with the eyesight is that we're looking down, something comes up on us too fast, and we can't adjust our body or the throttle in order to correct that. All right, guys, I hope this hits home with you. If you're making these mistakes, we really, really hope this helps. If you like these, if you've got more videos over here, our subscribe button is now here. I just figured that out. Instagram down here and Patreon, please support us so we can support you. Peace. I was wondering why you never understood that. Yeah.